Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial. For this tutorial, we, the supplies we need um, is our orange yarn and yellow yarn. This is Red Heart Super Saver. I'm using pumpkin and bright yellow. Okay, so I just want to show you how I did that. I just grabbed a, another hook to head laying around. It's a little bit bigger. Um, you don't have to use that hook. You can use what you already have. So take your strand that you have cut and what makes it a little bit easier is if you twist it like this. Sorry for the background noise. Early day out of school. School is just about out. So just twist it a couple of times. So when you fold it, it makes it you know to where the ends don't want to come apart as easy and makes it easier to get through the hook. So just hold it like this and place it on your hook like this. You're going to want to hold it really good. And it makes it easier if you grab the stitch and kind of guide the stitch up over the hook while pulling on the hook like that. Hopefully you're able to see that. I pull it out enough to where I can get my hand in there like this and then just pull out the excess like this and then just pull it down and make it tight and cut it and then just keep doing that to where you feel your mustache is full enough okay so here's what I have for his mustache I did decide to do one down here and just pulled it out this way and his mustache is kinda of scraggly so that's perfect okay we're gonna start with the eyes and we're still using our G 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Let it focus. There it goes. Okay. Let's do a basic slip knot here. And you're going to chain three and then go ahead and close it like we've done before. Into that first chain. And chain one. So we're going to go into the hole. The center right there, like that, and do slip stitches again, just like we did for the nose. You don't want this one to be too loose. If that one, ha if that happens, just pull on there. And you can pull that out. Oops, I keep wanting to yarn over. Four. I'm not sure how many I'm going to do yet, so I'm still checking out five. And I'm still crocheting over the chain. Six. And that's going to close, so don't worry. And just slide this over like this. I think we're going to do eight. Yeah, I'm going to do eight. Seven and eight. Okay, now you can drop your tail and you can slip stitch to right here to close. Okay, and chain one and do a single crochet right back into the stitch that you chained one at. And we're going to do two single crochets all the way around. And then we have one last one right there. That's big enough, and we are going to slip stitch it here, and give it a chain to lock that. Just pull on that for a minute. Now grab your tail, like this, and just pull that in, give it a nice little tug, see how that closes that right up. So go ahead and leave yourself plenty of yarn for the tail, because you are going to use this to sew it into the hat. So go ahead, we're going to make another one. I'm gonna, okay, we are on to the black yarn. And we're going to create a slip stitch still using the G hook 4.5. So we're going to chain three. We're basically going to do the same thing as the eye, but we're not going to do that second round. 
and close it to that first do a slip stitch there chain one you gotta find the center kind of pull it apart a little bit do you find it right there and just go into it hold down your tail And do eight around here and eight. I'll go ahead and slip stitch it closed. Right there. And give it a chain and pull out a little bit of a tail because you're gonna need that. And then just pull that tail in the middle. Close that eye right up. So you are going to attach, you're going to make two and make, uh, attach your eye right into the center of the white part. So, Okay, here's what I have so far. Um, when you're doing the eye, I found the easiest thing for me was to lay the eye on here. And then with the needle, just do a whip stitch. Just whip it around. And I don't go like do, do, do. I just do, you know. Just go here, then here, then here, then here. Not too, too tight. I don't want it to be bulky. Isn't that cute? Okay. So I'm going to attach my eye and do my eyebrow, and I will show you my finished product. Okay, I give you the Lorax. Here he is. I did change the eyebrows. I decided to go the opposite way because it made it look better. I didn't like the orange that was poking out. So there it is. I think he looks really absolutely adorable and I hope you guys liked my tutorial I um, would love it if you guys give us a thumbs up and subscribe and share this video and be sure to check back with us as I am going to be doing more character beanies in the near future have a lot of fun with your beanies